Welcome to Work Life Cyber. Today, I am going to talk to you about zero trust and zero day vulnerability. Um, most of the time, especially when you are like, all these nerves are raging when you're doing uh, interviews, an interviewer may say, what is zero trust? And this actually happened to one of my colleagues where she was asked, what is zero day? And she went ahead and gave um, a response to zero day vulnerability. But the question was, what is zero trust? And I can see this happening because whilst I was studying and throughout my days, I can see myself just in the midst of pressure, just mistaking one for the other. But today I am going to explain to you what the difference is. Uh, zero day trust, no, zero day vulnerability. See why I'm doing this video? Zero day vulnerability is just um, as it says. There is no time. It's the day, the time between when a vulnerability is discovered and when um, the people responsible get to... No, I don't want to make matters worse by confusing you. So a zero day, it means... Responsible parties, the security team, whoever is mitigating, the IT team, just did not have any opportunity to see the vulnerability or to even get um, uh, a chance to respond. Like, take, take, a, take it this way. You go to bed, you wake up, and then log 4 j has happened. I mean, by the time you were sleeping and the time you wake up, the attackers could have exploited this vulnerability and taken whatever they wanted to take or frozen all your data or done whatever they want to do, spread all the virus or the, the, the other parts of the network, even before you get up, right? Yes. So you didn't, you won't even have time to say, oh, let me quickly update patches or whatever. It would have been too late. Even if it's not too late, between the time you're sleeping and the time you actually wake up and find out that there's a new vulnerability, it would have been too late. A very typical example is, and I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the solar winds, the Orion thing, solar winds Orion, where that, that one is where the attackers were trying to really attack all government agencies. I mean, what a way to go, right? Just if you need to attack someone, just head over to the government agencies. But um, there are other ones that I can't think on top of my head. I should have probably done the research before starting this video. But um, I think there was the hot bleed. Uh, yeah. Um, I will, Anything that I say here, if you really need um, a detailed video about it, let me know. Sometimes I, I don't have time. So in the midst of the day, I will think of something and quickly just hop on. Um, my phone or my tablet and record something but anyway so that's zero day and then there was log4j in 2021 and no it was 2020 um i mean you can google it but log4j is a zero day vulnerability and thank god uh, microsoft had a a way to stop it but the best way to deal with zero day is really to keep up with updates and patches always do your patches but then if it's zero day and your patches are set for once every night or once well you can do once every night but let's say every three days whatever you guys your company goes does the patches but if it's a personal um if it's a personal computer you only do patches and updates when your computer tells you, hey, uh, it's time for updates, right? But you can make it a habit of just clicking update or checking to see if there are updates. All these things are wonderful to do. Just be updated. And if your company is a company that um, does patches, what? I don't know what any company patches are. Then it will be good to click the restart button on your computer. Some of you, even though the company is doing the... IT team is doing the main um, patches. Sometimes your computers give you a um, notification saying it's time to restart your computers. Please restart your computers. You have no idea 
what amount of um, trouble and headache you're saving the IT team just by restarting your computer when you get that notification. Or better yet, make it a habit of restarting your computers every once in a while or checking for the updates. If you need, I may show it how to check for updates and click even for your personal computers. And then, so that's zero day vulnerability. So the, the responsive um, personnel, the people in charge of mitigating and solving, responding to vulnerabilities have is the time they didn't have. They just didn't get any time for the vulnerability. And between the time the attackers launch the vulnerability and the time um, security team finds out, it's like, there's no time. They didn't get any time. So that's zero day. They had no time to respond. All they realized was that the um, vulnerability is already happening in the system. And these ones happen far in between. And, well, it happens a lot. But if it's not, it haven't, if they haven't affected you, you probably won't hear about it. And people don't really. I'm weird. I check these things and I actually get a list for these things. Anyway, but zero trust is my passion. Like, I don't even trust. I don't trust my mama. I don't trust my husband. When it comes to security, when it comes to IT, when it, I don't trust anybody. So the principle here is that don't trust anyone and verify everything. You know, if you have been in risk analysis, uh, been a risk analyst for even three days, even three seconds, you know that everybody will give you an answer, a favorable answer just to get you off their back. Even the people who are the most noble people, when they don't understand the question you're asking them, if you're doing, let's say, third-party analysis, third-party risk um, assessment, sometimes, remember, it's just salespeople sometimes who are um, responding to these assessment and they just have so much work they just take a yes for anywhere that sounds yes sounds good to put yes and no for anywhere that sounds good to put no so yes they said yes now you have to verify you have to say of or, or validate you have to say okay show me what's what state is that my boss my former boss used to say it a lot that all security team security team lives in um, the show me state, I think it's Missouri. So yes, you say you do it now show me and you can show me anyway. You can show me through, um, a, a video call. You can show me through a good, a solid screenshot. And you know what you're looking for when you see screenshots, screenshots can be screenshots. I have come to realize people just want to get you at, and not because they are necessarily, it's just because they are ignorant or they just don't care. They feel like security team, we, we just don't do anything. We just want to disturb the whole system and bring friction. This is a new word in my new position where they just, you bring friction. Security team, we bring friction. That when there's just like, we are, we are scaring them for no reason. No, these things have to be put in place. The only reason the company hasn't been attacked by ransomware is because there's a security team, right? And even with security team, these things are happening. So trust no one verify everything. A few things you can do um, for zero trust, you can put in place for zero trust is restricting access. You know, only give admin access to privileged users. Don't give it to everyone. You see, authorize everything. Let someone approve. Someone, someone approve it. No, the fact that they're in the company doesn't mean you should grant them access to certain things. So verify all these things. Again, check and validate all information and make sure you're getting proof. Yes, trust no one. They don't just give your passwords away for personal ones. I, I talked a little bit about company-wide, but for your personal cases, if you must share your password with anyone, once they do whatever they are doing, and I don't mean customer service people call in on the phone, but maybe you need to give your Amazon password to your sister, your brother, whatever. Once they're done doing what they're doing, change that password. And um, come back later, I'll give you a few pointers about how to set solid passwords. Already this video is becoming so long. So zero day versus zero day vulnerability versus zero trust. When you are asked in an interview, take a second 
to think about it. Once you hear they, think about response. They have no time. Security team had no time to respond to the vulnerability and the attacker can actually exploit the vulnerability. And once you hear trust, think about it. Trust no one, validate everything. Validate or verify everything, okay? So don't be nervous when you're doing interviews. Take your time, not just interviews. Maybe you're having a meeting with leadership. Don't miss words. You look silly when you do that, all right? Thank you for stopping by and please subscribe and let's learn together.